Okay. One. Two. Let me. You guys, take a look at this. Take a look at this, my friends. Here it is. The gastropod. another fossil hunting episode today here I am at the top of my mysterious valley so you probably recognize this place I have been here in the past but I didn't come here in a very very long time so today I will pay a visit to that slopes over there to see if there is any fossils oh my god the grass around here really really grows so they had a few eucalyptus in the middle of, of over there, of this bush. So, uh, I want to check out this ridge over here. Check this out, friends. There's a meeting of shells down here. <laughs> See, there is one over here. This is just a mold. What's this? Well, I guess it's some sort of, I don't know, exogyra, maybe. And there is another one in here as well. Okay. Okay. These ones are not complete. I just have one valve. So, let's see if in the top, what's this? There's more. Well, this is a bit of coral cool but not what I am after so I'm seeing some what's that what's that in here check this out whoa I guess it's an urchin that is let me see Oh, this round bit, maybe an urchin, all right. An echinoid. But... Very eroded one. And the camera is not focusing the right. Let, this, let me see, like that. Okay, now it's okay. See this bit over here? It's very smooth, and the other bit it's not. So... Not good. And what's this? Another piece of shell. So there's shells everywhere and broken bits of, I guess, some. I don't know if this could be part of a turtella. So let's continue searching to see if there is something worth taking home okay it seems that there is another shell in here if I can remove it because it's too incarcerated okay okay just oh let me close here it is a nice shell and there seems to be a few remains of 
little ones over here. Check this out. Okay. Lots and lots of debris, but nothing, nothing worth taking home. So I have two choices or excavating in here or exploring a different area. So I'm really not sure. Yo guys, I managed to dig a hole in here and there's something round in there I was wondering if this could be fur from some kind of an animal but it's only roots so I guess it's pretty safe but I was seeing these round bits over here so I guess there is some sort of a shell or something in there so let me see if I can put my It's look, it looks easier, but it's not. Believe me. Okay. Turns loose. I guess it's one of those massive shells. Let's see. Indeed. Check this out. Whoa. And they've got some crystals over here. Crystals or formation, crystal formation. Check this out. Pretty neat. And it's still in there. Check this out. I guess if I cut this one with some, some sort of a saw, this could very well have some crystals inside. So this one, I don't know if I'm able to carry this one with me, but I guess it could be something cool. <laughs> nice one. Really nice one. Okay. Sorry guys for my lack of enthusiasm, but I have to keep it quiet because I don't want to be noticed in here. <laughs> So guys, I continue to mess around in this hole over here and you can see there is a lot of ants but take a look at this piece there is a huge, huge shell in there so I guess I will try to remove that oh, there is ants in my hammer also this could be problematic because some of the bites of them are pretty painful Okay. Oh god, I broke this one. God. <laughs> what is better than one shell? There's two shells. Okay. This one is nice. <laughs> Just one bit over here is missing. Oh! It has some formations of calcite over here. Nice. You are coming with me. Okay guys, I just found whew, one thing that's pretty amazing for me. Check this out. Check this out. Oh my god, camera. Focus this, please. Oh my god. I don't know if this is the color of a bivalve or if it is... Well, uh, I guess it's probably some sort of color of bivalve it's not a leaf but it's it's the first time that I found something like that so the other bit might still up there might still be up here or in the bottom but there are so many hands in here so I will see if I can find the rest but it's pretty neat so you can still see the colors. Oh my god, camera, focus. Okay, I have to wash this with water. So pretty nice. This bit around here broke, so I don't know where it, where it is. So I will 
try to find it. I guess it was in here and it fell off to here. Oh my god, there is ants everywhere. So I guess the other bit is lost. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's continue. So finally I got to remove this round boulder that was in here. So oh my god the ants are over all over me. Mm. So as I was saying I finally was able to remove this large boulder that was in here but there is nothing so I have to be careful. Okay, there is nothing on this side and what about in this bit over here? Nothing as well. So, so guys, I said that I was leaving but before that I would investigate. I want to investigate this bit over here because I think there's might there might be something see there is something round and normally when I found something round it's because it's something interesting so I will try to remove this bit over here mm, I guess it's cracked over there so let's no it's not cracked so okay still good still looking good Mm, I guess it's probably one of those massive shells. Oh, I have to break it. So guys, I stopped recording because it started to crumbling down. So check this out. It's pretty, pretty large. And it's light too. So I've got a feeling that this inside might be, might be hollow. But it's full of cracks, see? So this is pretty nice. And it has the, t it has the tip also. So I have two or three of these in my collection, but this one, I guess this one is empty in the inside because for the size of this, it's too light. So check this out, this shell. Whoa. So, <laughs> okay, one, two, let me put it inside, oh, three, what are the good is in oh there is something in here okay okay I will get back right to you in a minute but just let me check the rubble the rubble the rubble the rubble okay oh check this out there's a huge shell over here okay okay Nice one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. I'm going to put this aside over here. Now, let's see this one. This little fellow that is in here. still in one piece okay my back hurt a little bit so let me see if I can uh, okay no This is going to be... Oh... Okay, here's a bit... Here's... Oh, another massive shell! Whoa! Okay, another one. I'm not sure how am I going to carry this home. And I guess there is another one in here as well. See? Oh! Let's excavate a little bit more. Okay, now I have to stop recording because... Ow! I have something poking my back. Okay guys, I managed to find 
a little gastropod that was in the middle of the rubbles. So it's quite tiny, almost irrecognizable, but I can almost see the spirals that are in here. So let me if see if the camera focus. Not focusing. Okay. See, there is a spiral in here. First spiral, the other ones are all covered with some dirt. So okay. I have to apologize guys because I am excavating like a madman and this stuff keeps falling and see what I found. It was just right there a beautiful shell and it has the lines complete so pretty pretty cool oh my god this one is beautiful <laughs> and it was just right there and it's pretty light as well so I guess there's nothing inside oh my god this one is cool I sure hope this one stays in one piece until I I put it in my collection because it has a lot of cracks see the shell is very 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 cracked so and I guess it was just right there um, oh there is something more in here as well some more pieces I don't know what it is maybe some shell and there is another stuff in here oh my god there's plenty of stuff in here so oh guys <laughs> there is another one right here see I don't know if it is complete but well this one is kind of round for a shell it almost looks like a gastropod girdle from this side but it's just a piece of shell nothing unusual about that okay this is just one one piece the other is missing missing in action <laughs> okay so uh, guys I'm not going to excavate anymore in here I already have a nice loot over here and I have my bags over there so I want to check the area a little bit more before I leave and if I stay here I will stay here the entire day so I will stop by now because I I'm keep finding just uh, shells and shells and shells and I want to find something different so if I want to find something different I have to move okay so let's get going so guys I am right here this uh, this is a pretty 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 beautiful place so I want to go I don't know if you can see it from over here I want to go to that small path that is in there and right above right about there I think there is a, an outcrop of rocks so I want to investigate that and see if there is any fossils in there so let's get going so guys I was on my way down over here so I was looking down as usual and <laughs> you've got to see this take a good look at this my friends <laughs> pretty pretty awesome and it was just right here and it is still I didn't even lift it okay pretty awesome that's a nice trigornia still stuck in there and it has that distinctive ridge this is not a trigornia lusitania this is a different species but so cool okay this one is going with me <laughs> so I was looking at this and the the place where I where I remove it it was just right there and take a look at this there's something in here as well <laughs> it's a shell also it was in here okay this is a very good spot for fossils indeed 
way go. Okay. Wow. What else do we have here? Some indicators that there is might be some sort of oyster. Yes, it could be an oyster. Okay. So let's get going. Well, again, this is one of the reasons why it's so it's a little bit dangerous to hike along in this place. There's sticks everywhere because there's a lot of cattle. So I have to remove this guy. Well, I have to find the passage to the other side of the creek. That is another video of mine. The other side of the creek. <laughs> well, I guess uh, I didn't come back here in a very long time because these trees are already very, very big. In my last video they weren't like that. So I think they might pass more than six months than I since I came back here. So <laughs> Well I don't know where is the passage. Okay. Uh, here I am. Okay. Let's see. Well, there is a, a remain of the rope over here. I hope this isn't rotten. Okay. It's still okay. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, this part over here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, and I'm out. <laughs> and I'm in the other side of the creek. Okay. Now let's get going and I want to find that path. So, let's go. Well, I guess I will just take a minute and sit right here. Uh, I guess you guys don't mind, but this is quite relaxing for me, so... Quite nice. The stream is clear, no signs of pollution. So... Very, very cool. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> okay friends, I found the path, but the stern is starting to appear and <sighs> oh my god, it's going to be hot today again. Ah. Okay, now I just need to get up there. This shouldn't be so inclined, but it is. <laughs> oh my god. I've been in this place a couple of times, but I never climbed myself way up here in this particular spot. And I'm quite I'm kinda regret that because this is almost vertical and what's this could this be a fossil uh, if it was it was a great re reward but it's not just a flint okay i'm not sure if i'm going to to be able to climb myself way up there it's very hard very hard indeed. I'm I'm looking down. I was talking and I was looking down to see if there is anything in this in this path over here that was built by erosion. But there is nothing. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, I guess it's some sort. Oh, it's a gastropod. It's not a some sort. It's a gastropod. Uh, but it's different from the others. This one has the spirals 
out so it misses the last ones okay but it's a pretty good indicator and if it's here probably up there there might be more okay nice nice well I just need to convince myself that I have to climb this all of way well but before I climb let me just check this around to see what this well this is a eroded by the water and by some guys that passes here in in some bikes and what's that over there see there's something in here oh this is I believe it's oh nice I'm not I'm not able to urge that more because Okay, now you can see it. I believe these are worm tubes. Okay, pretty nice. Yeah, it's springtime here in Portugal and there's a lot of bugs everywhere. Bugs, spiders, bees, wasps, you name it. I just don't want to be by, bitten by some tick that is dangerous so okay let's investigate this a little bit better before climbing so guys for you to see how steep this is let me show you one thing see Oh my god, oh my god, just one more, one more bit and I'm up here. So my friends, I arrived the uh, outcrop that I want to check, but it's pretty scarce in terms of fossils. Um, so, and the sun is really burning my neck, so I guess I'm going to leave this one. Oh, but there is, there's a shell over there, see, just popping out over there. So I will leave it this for a different day to spend a little bit more time next to that creek. Oh, there's another shell in here. And the bee is a bit angry because, see? Oh, nice shell. So, as I was saying, there's plenty of shells in here, but I only found a little bit, uh, a little gastropod in that slope over there, nothing more. So, oh my god, how am I going to climb down from here? I will see if this path leads me to a different, different area. So, let's see. Nothing. Ah, the sun. The sun is burning my neck. I'm going way over here to the shadow. It probably is better. Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> Guys, take a look at this. Take a look at this, my friends. Here it is. The gastropod. One of them. <laughs> Sorry guys, sometimes I get so excited that I forgot to, to put the, the frame of the video. And I'm not recording what I'm doing. So, oh my god, this is pretty cool. So let's see if I can remove this in one piece. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. And it's in the shadow, which is even better. Okay, nice one. Cool. And this is one is going to my collection. The, the ones that I seem to find in here, the gastropods have the, the spirals out, so they are not so so in as the Arpagodes insertus, the other gastropods, the other big gastropods that I found. So, I don't know if there is any more like that, but this this seem, seems to be worth just to climb this, this slope over here. <laughs> okay, nice one. Oh, wait a minute. 
What's this? What's this in here also? Okay, let's go grab her. It's kind of smooth things. So probably is nothing but Oh, I don't know if it is nothing. But let me just show you guys as this round bridge and almost looks like some piece of coral. Okay, I have to see what what is in my phone. Okay. Whew. Finally some shadow. Oh, well, I managed to climb down and I'm here in the path next to the creek. There is a crow up there. So, I guess I'm kind of close to the creek. So, I will let it roll because I know that some of you guys like to see the, the paths when I walk. So. Oh guys, I like the sand, but I prefer the cold. Don't get me wrong, but if you live here, you will understand. Okay, now I'm not going to cross here because there is no bridge. Bridge, no log to pass. So. That is one of the reasons because I, that I always get up so early in the morning. It's because I don't, I don't uh, end up stuck with the sun. And oh, sorry, guys, it was a mosquito. And all of the things are a little bit more fresh. Still looking down to see if there is any fossils. <laughs> but now I got it wrong. Ah. Okay guys, I'm going to rest a little bit over here in that rock and then I guess I will go home and wash my loot for today. <laughs> okay. So guys, here it is, the end result of today's hunt and as you can see, I found a lot and a lot of fossils. So I'm kind of uh, start by these ones over here. These are the shells that we already saw in the beginning of the movie. So nothing uh, extraordinary here, uh, except this other cuculae that I found in that place. I believe it's the first one that I found there. So I found this type of fossils in the different area, not that one. So it's pretty neat. I, I was able to find this one over there. So in the middle of all of that rubble, I found also a gastropod. It's full of little, I don't know, maybe calcite. It's uh, a bit eroded, but there's a way, This by this way, we can see that this was uh, submerged a lot and a lot of time, because I think that this over here might be caused by some sort of marine uh, I don't know marine uh, salt water don't know or some sort of uh, parasite that attached the shell well i leave it to that to you guys so these uh, other ones are also some nice looking shells that you already saw in the movie uh, are a little these ones are a little bit more clean with water i have another shell in here so these are more or less common but still pretty neat these are the bigger the, the, the bigger ones that I found. So uh, from this side there's nothing to it but there are some large shells, large, very large shells. 
and I don't know which one that I have in here that you can also see well this this other one started to crumble uh, so I have to to put the, the pieces back on so I'm not going to grab it because if I did it might fall off so I have to glue this because all of these little bits are loose and this was the one that I uh, say that probably uh, was hollow well I'm not sure there's some remains of calcite in here so but I will try to glue this back on I'm not going to cut this it was a shame to cut this so this was a very special one that I found that you can see still see the lines so it's pretty neat I never did find anything like this like this so it's pretty pretty cool so this other one it's still attached to this large piece of matrix over here and we can still see some I don't know some signs of the outer shell of the the bivalve and again yet again we can see still see some remains I don't know if this is I believe this is characteristics from um, marine uh, shells to have this 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 these structures. I don't know the specific name, but I believe this is is this is characteristic of this this type of shells. This other one that we see here, uh, if you look carefully, we can see some uh, bits. Uh, I believe this is uh, calcite. No, don't really know for sure. But this is uh, looking cool because if you stay like that, if it stays like that, you can see that the shell is still attached to the matrix and it almost looks like it is, it is a mouth that bites the rock and it stays like, like that. So I guess it's pretty, pretty cool, this piece. I just need to wash it a little bit better. So these are the, um, the shells that I found another one with the stripes as you can see and the other ones uh, are more or less common this was a piece I believe this is a Trigornia not a Trigornia Lusitania but it's the species of Trigornia the, the subspecies I don't really know for sure I have to check in the books so I managed to find a little gastropod that has the almost the complete all of the spirals complete but it's a little bit squashed and wobbled so it, it almost looks like it, the the shell cracked over here but still cool so we have a lot of shells of oh I, I missed this one over here so this is another gastropod you already saw this in the movie but the species of that location uh, tends to have the spirals outwards so it's it's I believe it's a, a species that lived in, the, in that area so it's kind of cool to see that so these are and again another shells that I found this I don't know what this is maybe a spine from a sea urchin maybe a worm tube I really don't know but I guess it stays like that I bring this along because I wasn't sure what this was but now looking at this I saw that this is the inner mole of a, of a bivalve and this this is a quite an interesting piece because normally we cannot see colors in the fossils but this bit around here it has some some lines I almost believe that this is some sort of petrified wood because you can see some pieces of the circumferences so I don't believe this is uh, the shell of a bivalve so I have to to analyze this a little bit better to see what it is so this is a bit of uh, a matrix but I guess there's still a turritel attached to this side but I wasn't able to remove it so I bring it along to see if with a little bit more patience I could remove that and this we have uh, a piece of trigornia still in the matrix so this was as you can see the video was in the middle of the the small path and it's looking cool like that I, I guess I'm going to leave it like that I'm not going to mess with this. So this was another gigantic shell. I believe it's Cuculea gigantic. Gigantia. Sorry, that's the correct name in Latin. So I broke this side. But if I cut the, the bottom looking like that, 
it's still <laughs> it's still looking great it, it it looks like some sort of alien mouth <laughs> okay so guys this is this is it this is all of the fossils that i found in today's hunt so if you like the video don't forget to put a like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next movie bye